This case considered the issue of competing equitable interests and whether or not a purchaser had notice of a registered lease even though he did not check the register. In this case, an owner of a property leased it to a man for 99 years. The man who was leasing the property then offered this lease to another man. This was accepted. Letters regarding this change of lease were registered. The owner of the property later died and the trustee of the man's estate sought to sell the property subject to the second lease which existed over the property. The purchasers had requested information from the vendor in relation to the removal of the original lease by the register. The vendor of the property sought the court's decision in relation to the removal of the original lease in an attempt to show that their title in the property was not subject to this original lease. The vendor argued that the legal interest to be conveyed to the purchaser took priority over the earlier equitable interest of the lease on the basis that they had no notice of the original lease. They argued that mere registration of the lease did not amount to actual notice. The central issue was whether or not the purchaser had notice of the lease that was registered. The court ultimately